I must tell you that it's had conversations that we're discussing insecurity in relationships. Insecurity in relationships. And uh, <laughs> some person, woman being, woman being, that is with me on my set, woman being, is telling me that this conversation, he doesn't want to have it with me. <laughs> because you're on this table. <laughs> ah! Precious, if you break the table, remember the defense was that I will tell your secrets. I thank God I have somebody behind the camera who is my producer. He uh, will defend me. Ah, uh, I can tell you that I'm going to let your secret out into the public today. <laughs> you better respect yourself when you're talking about this insecurity thing. in relationships. Now, this is a very interesting one. Welcome, does it really yes. happen to women or does it happen to you? It women? happens to both. Are you it kidding? It happens to both, yes. Mm. It happens to both. You see. Um, it's important we understand that insecurity in relationship is a problem that we all have to talk about. We have to create awareness about it because I have been a victim of it. I know you are currently a victim of it. How? There's, don't ask me how on national TV. I'm not going to explain. But guys, listen to this. Now, are you um, kidding me right now? I'm not how? a victim. You are a victim. So, will you allow me to talk or a victim? <laughs> because you are. Brother? I, I don't want straight. your big brother anything. I don't understand what you are talking okay, about. Okay, okay. I'll take it easy on you. Yeah. You are innocent. Very, extremely so. Related to Dibia? <laughs> Let's talk about okay, insecurities. This is good. Insecurities in relationship. Number one, don't judge your current relationship with the previous one. You need to understand that there is a clear discrepancy between that man and this man or that woman. And this woman. But let me ask a question before you Please even do. begin to reel out this point. Yes. When we talk about insecurities in relationship, what are the signs that you're insecure? The, that they are the ones I'm giving you. Judging your previous relationship with I'm okay. giving you ten points. So it means that you're insecure. Yes. When you judge. So by the time I go through the ten, you will understand. You see, sometimes it's not enough to define. If you say what is insecurity insecurity in relationship, I'll tell you insecurity in relationship is feeling inadequate for being good enough or that uncertainty okay mm. when you have that uncertainty mm. or the ability the inability to handle certain situations that's insecurity but by the time you understand the do's and the don'ts you will understand your state then you can evaluate and ask yourself have i been insecure mm. because you see when i was doing this study tell me see, when i was doing this study i I did it in consonance with a professor in Yale's university. And when I got to a level, I said, ah, precious, you've been guilty of this. So tell me, what, what, what were you doing particularly that made it obvious that you were insecure? Uh, say it now. Let the devil be ashamed. Say it now. Let the devil be ashamed. Point number one, like I said, Tommy, see, could you get behind me? Point number two, you're done with one. Yeah, number one, like I, I said, don't you. judge, okay? Mm. Don't judge the current based on the previous. Number two, don't confuse imagination with reality. Okay. That something is in your mind does not mean it is happening. You need to live in the reality, in the, in the so realm. So there is a possibility that you're living in your mind. Exactly. And your mind is feeding you garbage. God bless you. And you're you. acting it out in reality. Let me give you a practical example. You're watching the TV screens right now, and your wife is a very beautiful woman, and she's the host of the television program, like, for instance, and then you're seeing her with another person anchoring a show, and then because of how they really, you just oh, get this. The, the, the chemistry. Because, okay, the chemistry and physics, mm -hmm. you just think there's a biology. Uh. You are off. Uh -huh. That is not reality. That's so, for in your example, imagination. If, if your husband is an actor and he's always seen acting closely with a particular artist, yes, and they say, okay, like Iriti Oladoy was saying, mm. that R and D is a screen husband, yes, like best screen husband Very ever. True. Now imagine how Jumobi and Igbeson would have been feeling. That's 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 being paranoid. You need to get to the level where you mm. are encouraged to have an open and honest relationship so you're not in your mind yes you feed your mind and that's I why that. that's why it's really good to communicate communicate there are some things you don't have to put to a woman with with reactions or to a man mm -hmm. uh, this chemistry between you and Thomas is wonderful 
uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. then it tells a whole lot more. No, somebody has actually asked me that question before. This person said, ah, no, 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 no. The chemistry between both of you is really, really, you really, 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 Me and you don't have any chemistry. <laughs> Which chemistry? <laughs> I don't like my chemistry teacher. <laughs> Okay. I said somebody did that takes somebody us. said us a message about that. And yeah, I and I, I love that had a really good laugh. That. Number three, stop trying to mind read your partner. Mm. Yeah. You're, you're just looking at the person. What's he thinking about? Is he thinking about that girl in his office? Ah, there's a new secretary in MITV. Precious must not see her. <laughs> Who is guilty of that? <laughs> there's a new staff. In this place, this person must not see. You get what I'm saying? Mm. That so you meet the person on the way, and you're like, "Hey," or, or or you go to your husband's office, and then as you're climbing the stairs, a beautiful woman is coming downstairs. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Jesus! Tell me, say, <clears throat> there are things I don't want to see on national TV, what? but it has happened to some of us. Ah. Eh? If you date an insecure lady or an insecure guy your life is going to be stereotyped and that's why you need to hear this point it will shock you number four once you ask don't keep asking mm. oh babe this guy precious tell me about him and then you've asked and then the next day oh babe and then well, the next one say, oh babe mm. and, and then you keep asking you've become a pest you must learn to 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 to, to alleviate the stress of your partner so when you have asked a question, don't go. So by basically, it. when you are asking those questions, you are actually increasing your partner's stress. Yes, because pestering, mental stress. Yeah, pestering can destroy your relationship. I know a lady who just shut down on the guy, and she was like, "You overcare, okay? I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm telling you." And she left the guy for overcaring. A lady <laughs> once tweeted and said, "This guy I'm dating now has not has never cheated on me, has never shouted on me, has never." It's a boring relationship. I think I'm uh -huh. tired. And people were like, are you mad? That's what everybody prays for. You know, uh, that would take me to another point. It's important you understand point number five, that relationships have to do with ups and downs. Mm. Mm. Relationship There's always has, been the up part, mm. there would always be the down part. Mm. Relationship comes with ups and downs. Focus on the good. Be focused. Be focused on the good. Somebody keeps telling me that. Be focused. Mm. Mm, I like Be that. Be focused on the good. Mm. Be focused on the positive. You see, everybody has a good side and a bad side. Just like every product has an advantage and it's a disadvantage. The same battery that helps your car to start uh, contains acid that mm -hmm. can harm you. Mm -hmm. The same car that drives you to work can actually drive you to your untimely grave if mm -hmm. you're not careful. Everything that has advantage has got disadvantage. disadvantages. So, be focused on the good celebrate the good mm. to make the person better because what you celebrate determines what amplifies the relationship mm. you celebrate the bad side of the person mm -hmm. then you're going to be encountered or faced with the bad side so you mm. just have to let that go consider subscribing to my channel it's free and it's fun you can join the squad and you won't miss out on any of my future uploads